Hi, this is just a quick YouTube video just to show the um, features of the WebKit browser and the new Amazon Kindle 3. Um, something before I bought my Kindle, there's a couple of videos out there but none that are actually any good. Everybody seems to think that the browser is just something to use um, for novelty value rather than actually something that's uh, worthwhile having um, instead of something like an iPad or your iPhone. Now, obviously a colour device like an iPad or an iPhone gives a much richer experience but none of these actually give you flash so on day to day browsing through forums or for RSS feeds or uh, Twitter or Facebook actually the new Amazon Kindle does a great job um, it's obviously got Wi-Fi as well as 3G um, in the UK it's using Vodafone as the uh, 3G provider so you get excellent coverage and loads of 3D, 3G everywhere I've tried it um, Really, I think the main advantage and why I actually think the WebKit browser and the Kindle 3 is actually one of the best selling points of it is because you've got international 3G without having to pay a subscription. So going on holiday um, beside the pool, you can look at some feeds, look at the news, uh, check your Facebook, check your email. Um, and you can do it all for free, um, all courtesy of Amazon. So I think it's uh, absolutely one of the best selling points of the new Kindle. So we'll just take a quick look. Um, obviously the bookmarks that are available, um, we'll try amazon.co.uk um, just to see how quickly this renders. This is on Wi-Fi through an ADSL connection, not the fastest in the world. Um, but as you can see, it renders it pretty well almost exactly the same as your uh, desktop um, you don't obviously have a mouse or a touch screen or a trackpad or anything like that but what you do have is the d-pad that you can see on the left hand side um, and it does a great job at being able to find links that you want to get to so for instance we'll click on this and again pretty quick to to load up pages I wouldn't say it's any slower or any faster than any other a WebKit browser device um, using your iPhone or your your iPad. I don't think it takes any less time um, on these other fancier devices, so-called, than the Kindle. And actually, reading uh, the web pages and uh, on the screen, I would say is almost better than reading it on something like the iPad, particularly in direct sunlight, which actually makes the screen clearer. Um, so we'll try. So you go down to the menu and you go into your bookmarks. Now let's go to quite a heavy page, something like Engadget. And we'll watch this loads up pretty quick. And again, renders it perfectly as per your desktop. Obviously you can see at the bottom you've got the page up, page down buttons which normally when you're using um, your ebooks um, just kind of flick from page to page but what's really nice with this and actually something that it would be great to integrate into an iPad or your iPhone is essentially a page up, page down um, for looking at web pages um, and it just makes things that wee bit quicker when you want to kind of flick through a page Apple's obsession with getting rid of buttons um, and using the touch screen I actually think is detrimental um, and something simple like this on, on an iPad would make a huge amount of difference. Um, one other uh, clever thing that was that's mentioned in a couple of other videos is the oops, sorry, is the article mode and what that does is it strips out the, tech, out the pictures just so you can um, read an article or um, the majority of the text on, on a page um, let's see what happens trying to use it on gadget it works well on, on newspapers and, and whatever but as you can see what it does is it just strips out all the all the images so you can much much clearer just to read the, the stories that are there. So that's for instance one of the first stories um, on that page. So we'll turn that back off. Go back to web mode. Now, 
um, as you can see you can zoom in and out you can change the levels um, of zoom on a page so we'll go to a different website something maybe more tech centric um, such as um, one of the news pages or <laughs> So let's check the New York Times out. Now, this is one of these things that they always use in, when they're presenting a new device. Apple obviously loaded up the New York Times web page and always uses this as kind of a benchmark for um, how quickly or how well something can render a proper web page. But this is really where it comes into its own. Um, although that looks very pretty, to actually read that um, comfortably isn't actually the best. So we'll go down to an article. So we'll load this article up and really show you how the the article mode works. Um, so again, rendering nice and quickly. Um, and for those people that say, oh, you know, this is just an experimental thing and whatever, I think Amazon have really kind of hidden the browser away because it is free with the international 3G service. And I think if it was something that was on the main page and was really made a big deal of, I think Amazon are a wee bit concerned that giving away free data, if this, is, if this becomes popular, might actually cost them more money than it's worth. At the moment, most people are just using the free data abroad, maybe to download a book now and again. And you can imagine ebooks aren't particularly big, so it doesn't use that much data. But if people really started using this, I think it's a sh I think it might um, affect whether they can give you the, the data for free. But there you go. Um, there's the article mode. So that was that article, which was perfectly easy to read in the other format, but it's particularly easy to read now that you've got it here and you can flick up and down and you can see the page refreshes on this are, are really very quick indeed. Um, another interesting thing to look at with the browser, um, go back to the web mode. Um, the other interesting thing to mention about the, the browser is that um, because it's a WebKit browser, it really does conform, it conform to all the, the web standards. So things like checking your, your bank account using a secure website um, work perfectly well. Um, checking and logging into your email, I won't do that here because it'll just give away all my email addresses, uh, it works perfectly well. Uh, Google Reader uh, works excellently. So if you set up um, Google Reader um, and get all your RSS feeds or feeds from different web pages, um, you can uh, go to that um, and if you press the F uh, button when you're in Google Reader it changes it to a full screen um, and it's great it's one of the best RSS feeds that you could probably have for the Kindle um, and it's quite impressive to actually see. Um, now just a very brief uh, move away from the WebKit browser we'll go back to the the main screen. Now um, I use this particularly for uh, work um, and these are all uh, textbooks that I've got that work excellently um, and this is one of the uh, periodicals for orthopaedics um, which has been set up through Amazon and it delivers it automatically to the device over Wi-Fi or 3G um, and updates itself and again it's just an absolutely excellent um, device for reading um, anything. And the contrast is amazing. This is my first e-reader that I've ever had and I would say the Kindle is by far one of the best things I've bought. I've had an iPad and that went back to the Apple Store. I've had an iPhone 3G, uh, an iPhone 4, um, and the screen on that is excellent and certainly is very good for reading on. But took it holiday once in the sunshine, reflecting off the screen. The iPhone 4 gets hot, decided to shut itself down because it's too hot. Not a good idea. And if you want to download anything or use it for browsing, unless you've got a Wi-Fi network free, um, you can't do that. And uh, the thought being able to be in an airport where 
a lot of Wi-Fi now is paid for rather than free um, to be able to just turn your Kindle on with an amazing battery life by the way um, and just browse regular websites and actually have them usable is incredible so um, I would thoroughly recommend a Kindle 3 um, and particularly for the uh, WebKit uh, web browser as you've seen which is excellent and not just something that's extra there uh, that's not actually useful, it's not really experimental, it works very well. Thanks.